Welcome back to the grind for day two of the trading post. We are going to do a brief breakdown of these offers here, and we'll start with the featured one. This is going to be largely dependent on your situation. If you have extra cosmic charges and perhaps you've already maxed out your cosmic array and you don't plan on building another one, but you have electron bars or you have a need for electron bars, I've heard that in recent times with all the Electrum Towers coming out, there hasn't been enough Electrum Bars um, to be easily sustainable. So if you've got extra Cosmic Charges um, and you are one of those people who are desperately needing more Electrum Bars, this seems like a great option for you to exchange. But again, uh, it really depends on your current situation. Uh, I personally, um, my Cosmic Rare is not max, so I, I think I'm going to need these continue uh, in the future and so I'm not going to make this exchange since I only have eight and I actually have uh, excess electron bars at this time um, but you may be uh, depending on you know the, the recent state of resources you may be in the opposite situation as me uh, now we're going to go over here to the inner fires and this is one of those things inner fires are an uh, incredibly valuable resource for um, PVP to help you score well in PVP. Everybody needs a constant supply of inner fires to be competitive in the PVP um, events. Now, whether or not it's worth the sigils is debatable because um, obviously there's a lot of value in branches, season branches. But since we're at the end of the season, you kind of get to decide if the sigils that you have remaining are um, necessary to get you further in a branch that you're working on or if you want to convert those sigils into something that you can then use next season to get you more points and get you more further progression down the season branches next season. So that's basically a way of converting progress um, in terms of sigils from this season and converting it into um, a resource that can help you get more progress next season. So I think that this is um, reasonable depending again on your situation. Um, and then this one, again, crafting charge, pretty self-explanatory. And then we're going to skip over to the platinum, um, two platinum chests for 9,000 elemental embers. Now, essentially, what that's doing is it's giving you guaranteed pulls of the legendary elemental embers. So you're basically, with those two platinum chests, you're trading them in, rather than opening them um, and getting a random selection, you're guaranteeing that you're going to get uh, a little more than this legendary elemental ember drop and if you are in need of elemental embers it is um that is very nice to be able to confirm guarantee you're going to get that and it's not going to be the epic drop you're actually going to get um a little bit better than the legendary drop now that does mean that you are losing it on the chance of getting a mythic drop um and the biggest downside to this um, is you're missing out on the chance to get sigils and timers and a tokens. Those are all very valuable resources. And if or also there's a chance for electron bars. So it depends on what you need at this time. If you are in need of elemental embers as a primary resource, that's the main thing that's holding back your base progression, then it is uh, worth considering. However, um, that means you're going to be giving up some potential sigils for the following season. And um, you might want to save the platinum chest to open next season to then push your progress down a branch a little bit further. So for me, it's not it's not um, an offer I want to take, but, you know, there is a place for it for some people. Now, this last one, I'm going to start smashing this button um, continuously. This is uh, a good offer. Mostly because Black Pearls are a resource that you continually will have excess of for most players. Now, if you're in the process of leveling up your purchase still, wow, what is going on with this? We are causing some issues here. <laughs> there we go. Um, if you're still in the process of leveling up your purchase and you don't have much extra Black Pearls to spare, then you might not want to do this exchange however um as you can see i have a lot of excess black pearls and man we're getting that glitch again that's interesting um 
Elemental embers are used for so many different towers in the base that you're probably more likely going to be short on elemental embers than you are black pearls. So it's a good exchange um, to do that. Now, it is kind of like a one-to-one, -one, not quite a one-to-one -one trade, but um, at least you're getting uh, a bit of a conversion from a resource that you might have excess of and have no use for and converting it into something where you are going to be able to use it. Um, so that's where I'm at. Uh, that's my thoughts on these. Let me know if you have any different opinions or thoughts on these offers, and I hope to see you in the next video.